Hi, I'm Ian Lane and welcome to my channel. In this video, I hope to answer one of the most common problems LyricPad users encounter after updating from LyricPad 2 or updating LyricPad 3 to the latest version, which is currently version 3.16, build 46. After updating, the user is greeted with the following screen. And when you go into the settings screen, you discover that you can no longer change to the directory where your files are saved. This problem is caused by a change that Google made to its requirements for an app to be available in the Play Store. For security reasons, Google now requires that any app that saves and accesses files in internal storage must store those files in the secure storage area on the Android device. And to make matters worse, the built-in file manager and other third-party applications, like Astro File Manager, can no longer access and display this area. This meant that LyricPad 3 had to be revised in order to meet these requirements. Now, the developer of LyricPad, Daniel Nilsson, has written a comprehensive tutorial on how to move the files to the correct place, and I'll put a link to it down below. But hopefully this video will make the process a little easier to follow. The first thing we need to do is install a file manager that will allow us to access Android Secure Storage Area. The app that I use and recommend is Explore File Manager. Although any file manager that has the capability to access Android Secure Storage Area will work. Explore is free and available in the Play Store. So let's head over there and install it. First, search for Explore, and then select Install. While the app is installing, this is a good time to mention that although this app is free and has minimal nag screens, I highly recommend that you donate to support the devs. The minimum amount is $1.50 US, and this app is well worth the money. After the app installs, select Open to run Explore. The app will now ask for permission to access your files, so select Allow and Return. Explore will now display all the files and folders contained in your device's internal storage, as well as giving you access to network files and cloud storage. The best way to use this app is to ensure screen rotation is enabled in your device settings and rotate your device to landscape mode. Explore uses two panes for file management and this allows you to view both of them at once. You can still use this app in portrait mode. In fact, I used it that way for quite a while before I stumbled on this tip. Now the way Explore works is that one pane will display your source files and the other pane is your destination. Both panes will show the same files and folders, although the second pane, the one on the right, by default, also shows the network and cloud storage files, such as Dropbox and OneDrive. This makes Explore ideal for backing up your LyricPad files to the cloud, but I'll be covering that in a future video. You can also configure pane 1 to display these files, but that option is off initially. We can now switch between which pane is active by selecting the blue arrow at the top between the panes, or by selecting the Switch Panes button at the top right. The active pane will have a blue bar at the top. Now between the panes, or at the right if you're in portrait mode, are all the available file options. Now to start, Make sure that the left-hand pane is active, then select the Internal Storage folder. This will display all of the folders stored on your device's internal storage. Now if we scroll down, 
will find the folders LyricPad and LyricPad3. Note that you will only see the LyricPad folder if you had installed LyricPad and are updating to LyricPad 3, otherwise you'll only see the folder for LyricPad 3. If you are updating from LyricPad 2, select the folder LyricPad. Otherwise, select the LyricPad 3 folder. This will display the folders containing your saved lyrics, backing tracks, and set lists as well as a folder for the log files and some miscellaneous configuration files. Selecting the Lyrics folder will then display all of your saved Lyric files. For LyricPad 3 users, the Lyrics will be grouped under different file folders corresponding to your band names, if you use band names. Now the way I work is I use the band names to group my songs according to category. But again, I'll cover this in a future video. LyricPad 2 did not support band names, so only the lyric files will be shown. For LyricPad 3 users, select one of your band folders to display your lyric files for that band name. Now the way LyricPad operates is that for each lyric there are two corresponding files. The easiest way to see this is to select the Sort By button in the Options menu and then select Sort By Name. You should now see two files both with the same name but with different file extensions. The file with the .txt extension is the raw text file and this file can be edited like any other text file. The other file ends in underscore txt and has a .lp3 extension. This file contains the formatting information such as scroll speed, duration, and other file information and can only be edited using the LyricPad application. Now let's look and see where we need to move these files in order for LyricPad to access them. Select the blue arrow to switch panes to the right hand pane. Now select the internal storage folder. Find the folder called Android and select it. Notice that the folders in this folder have a purple dot. This indicates that these are secure folders and cannot be accessed without special permission. Select the folder called Data. This will bring up a screen that will allow us to grant permission to use this folder. Select Continue and then select Use this folder. Then select Allow. Now we have full access to this folder. Scroll down and find the folder com.dna.lyricpad3 and select it. This should display a folder called Files. Selecting the Files folder will then display the Lyrics, Backing, Setlist, and Log folders. These are the default locations that the updated LyricPad3 app creates and needs to use in order to comply with Google's security requirements. And this is where we need to move our files. The first thing to do is make sure that all the files and folders under LyricPad 3 are highlighted light blue. Then select the check mark to the right of the files folder and it should turn orange. Next, switch panes back to the left hand pane. Select the Lyric Pad or Lyric Pad 3 folder. Now select the check mark next to the Lyrics folder. Also select the check mark next to the Backing and Set Lists folder if you use Backing and Set Lists if you wish to copy those files also. Now the way Explore works is that whatever option you select will affect the files in the active pane. 
In this case, we are copying the files contained in the folders on the left-hand pane to the pane that isn't active, in this case the right-hand pane. Now select Copy from the menu. Make sure that you are copying to the file path that ends in slash files. Then press OK. Explore should now start copying your files to the correct locations. After the operation finishes, verify that your original files copied correctly and now are where they need to be in order for LyricPad 3 to access them. If for some reason they didn't copy to the correct place, make sure your source and destination folders are open and all the folders are highlighted and there is a check mark next to the folders you wish to copy. Well, thanks for watching the video and I hope this clears up any questions on how to make LyricPad 3 work after the update. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. And if you have any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, also leave them in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe so I can continue to make these videos.